In minutes, a baggage collection area became a scene of horror. Bullet casings, she said, were flying all around. After, according to witnesses, a man collected his luggage and reportedly pulled out a gun that was stored inside and loaded it. By all accounts, the gunman said nothing. He just started shooting, then reloaded and shot some more. Everybody took off and they said... They said a shooter. I mean... So we don't, we everybody, don't. everybody's standing around just scattered. So. This airport, the very area where the shots were fired, is familiar to many Canadians, passing through on their way to and from vacations. The St. Pierre family from Ontario, among those who huddled on the tarmac. Suddenly a commotion and people got up from their seat to look at and immediately as soon as someone yelled, gun, get out, it was a, everybody just rushed, every left that they had right there and ran. Police flooded the airport, which has four terminals. But witnesses say when the gunman finally ran out of ammunition, he simply put down his weapon and lay down, waiting to be arrested. We have uh, the shooter in custody. Uh, he's... Uh, unharmed, no law enforcement fired any shots. But the panic returned. There were reports of more shots, fears of a second shooter in another terminal. I heard a lady yell for help, and then I just saw people running and I just ran. But police say that was a false alarm. Also false, early reports that the gunman arrived on a flight from Canada. The suspect in custody is reported to be a 26-year-old American, Esteban Santiago, who had flown in from Alaska. There are reports he was involved in an altercation en route. The state of Florida, the citizens of Florida, law enforcement in this state will not tolerate evil acts. Whoever is responsible will be held accountable to the full extent of the law. Tens of thousands of passengers were stranded at the airport for hours after the shootings as police and FBI investigators locked down and searched the facility. The airport is still closed. The investigation into the motive behind the shootings, very much open. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.